Hello everyone, Luis here again. Um, I'm back and this time it is for a quick video. I will try to do more of these uh, quick videos with tips and useful tips for you guys. So especially for beginners and I hope sometimes for also the, the veterans too, but normally for beginners. And this time it is a, a very, very interesting finding that I discovered right recently. Probably many of you already know that, but for me it was a surprise, which is basically how you can assemble multi-part models direct on your computer before you print it, okay? It can be useful for uh, models that have like many many parts like i have here a 46 part model and it's a pain to to mount it <laughs> later and not every time the, the parts fit together and it's complicated because you need to put supports on on uh, individual parts so I, i prefer to just mount the entire model put the supports print it and that's it okay unless i need like a bigger uh, model if you want a regular size model that fit on your regular uh, resin printer it's totally okay to use this technique okay um, you i will show it on the computer using a free tool that com comes on your windows and it's really really easy and straightforward process okay stick with me and don't forget to like and subscribe and comment um, if you have something interesting to say okay thank you see you in a few minutes hello hello welcome back uh, now i'm here on the pc and i'm going to show the process to you okay how was i was explaining um, sometimes you have these multi-part uh, models right like this hook here, I'm going to use it as an example. Uh, if if you want, you can. I, I I know a lot of people like to assemble and, and have the the entire uh, to print each part of the model separately. But in this this is a classical example here. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven parts. Okay. What you are going to do is you are going to select all the parts that you want you are going to open the 3d builder this is a free tool that comes with windows if you don't have that i think you can go and you, you can try to find to download it on the microsoft store uh, and try to get it uh, there okay Probably is there if you don't have it, but I think it comes already by default in all Windows installation, okay? So you open the 3D, 3D Builder and you select a new scene and as you can see here It's empty and you are going to just Drop all the parts here. It takes some time. I will uh, stop here to accelerate the video So, as you can see, it was mounted perfectly, the entire Hulk figure here, okay? You click on Import Model, and it's still a mode part, as you can see here, but it was positioned perfectly uh, on the right uh, position to connect with the other parts. What normally I do it's I select the all the the parts, go to edit and I click merge. When you merge, you like glue virtually glue the entire model as one. Okay, and after you finish the the merge process, you go to the to here, click save as and you can save as an STL uh, has a complete model and I will show you here my Hulk my complete Hulk here I have one finish Hulk pool this one I saved as you can see complete Hulk here saved okay it's it's a one piece and 
and you can use Lychee for example just throw it here and as you can see here it's a huge model I just can here scale to 25% and yes you have your entire model uh, it's it's a something very very interesting this this feature uh, that the 3d builder has uh, it's probably I believe uh, how it works is that when the the artist the model the the artist that uh, finished the, the model and divided into piece the, they use sometimes mesh mixer and other types of uh, program softwares that, that do this uh, separation of the model in different parts and probably when create the when the when the software creates the, the file it's just uh, insert uh, like a tag in the in each of the files with the position of the with the original position okay of the of the the part as you can see here this model for example is a nightmare it has like 41 parts and i will open it just for you to see here 41 parts And as you can see here, the model was completely assembled. You see, it has like 41 pieces. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of pieces. So it, it makes life easier <laughs> for you to just assemble it entirely and then print it has one piece definitely okay or even you, you can um, like a, a model like that you can mount like the upper part the lower part or the arms with the the complete uh, piece of armor and things like that so it's it's an interesting uh, process uh, bear in mind it will not work with all the the files okay and uh, there are if the file where was modified for some reason uh, from the original file it loses the the reference the position reference okay so it will not work I will show here an example of a file that it not works okay okay in this example here uh, we have I have a Sauron scooped and I bought it from uh, game, game Body, and as you can see, they hollowed the parts. Okay, when they do that, they just modify the original file. Uh, they had to, to save it, right? And if you put, I will put everything here. There are some duplicate parts, but anyway, you put the entire parts here, and as you can see it's not mounted in this case you need to do it by yourself uh, print and mount or even come here on this on the software and go part per part, per part and mount it to make it together again okay so that's it hope it was useful for you guys and see you next time thank you bye